My name's Dave DeBow, founder of MoneyPartnerFormula.com, and this show is built for everyday real estate investors who are actively doing deals and looking to scale using other people's money. So if you're an active real estate investor and you want to get featured on this show to talk about your own real estate and capital raising experiences, then just go to DaveInterviewsYou.com. Now let's get rolling with this episode and remember to subscribe for daily interview content. Welcome back, folks. Today, we've got a very special treat because an old friend is zooming in from Idaho. Zane Grazer is a real estate entrepreneur who's kind of gone from the single family home space and now he's getting into multifamily properties like many people have. However, Zane's story and backstory is very, very inspirational because he's overcoming some obstacles most of us don't have to worry about when it comes to real estate investing and raising capital. And that is that Zane is deaf. Yes, you heard that right. Zane has a uh, hearing disability and we're going to do an interview on this podcast. So Zane Grazer, welcome to the show. Great to see you again. Uh, hi, thank you. Um, thank you for having me here today. So Zane, just because people are going to be curious how are we able to have this conversation so fluidly and fluently if you're deaf and and we're talking? Yeah, well, the technology has been getting better over the last couple of years, to be honest. I first started investing in real estate about 11 years ago after I left my state job to pursue investing in real estate because I knew it was not a career working for the state with all the changes in the economy, I knew it was going to happen with where we're at right now. So that's why I worked really hard to find a way to get out of my dead-end job and build a business for myself. And it was a challenge for the first couple of years investing in real estate. I first started out as a wholesaler, basically. So I put out a bunch of letters. They had my phone number on there. And I'll send it all out. But the problem is, all the, all the calls will go through an interpreting agency, and then the interpreter will respond, Hi, this is Swanson Video Relay Service, interpreter number, and then they have to connect with me. A lot of people will get confused naturally, and they think they have the wrong number, or there's a scam call, you know. And I've also bought so many courses for real estate investing business, so many things, and a lot of them don't have some title or reading material. So I'm not able to learn the materials that I want. I've had to ask for my money back on a lot of courses. And mm -hmm. if I want to go to a conference, and most people will not pay for an interpreter. People don't understand how expensive it is to have an interpreter. Because for a three-day conference, you have to have a team of two interpreters. Because they need 20 minutes each so they can have a break. And you're paying them like $60, $75 per hour per interpreter. So that wow. can add up to like $3,000 for a three-day conference. So now the last two, three years, technology has been getting better. Now finally, Zoom has closed caption option. So now I have caption on the bottom, which I'm reading right now. So every time Dave or somebody talking, it will show what they're saying. So sometimes the captions are not accurate or there might be, you know, some technical difficulties. They have to like re repeat that. So sometimes that happens. And the same with online. If I, I have Google, so now I can follow training courses and all that because they have caption now on Google in many places. So they have been really helpful for me going forward. That is wonderful, Zane. Yes. Zoom and the captions are great, unless maybe you're talking to a Canadian host and and Zoom doesn't recognize my accent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Okay, so now with technology making things easy simpler for you and easier for you, how do just how does the phone call thing work these days for you? How do you do phone calls or do you do everything on Zoom? Yeah, I still can do phone calls nowadays. So basically I'm I'm associated with one of the video relay services that they have out there. And they have an interpreter, they'll respond, but they do not introduce themselves. Some services will do that. And I set it up so that they do not introduce them, themselves. I just want them to connect me directly 
with the, whoever calling me on the other end, and I'll do all the talking and avoid any confusion for anybody involved. Sometimes, I mean, it should take longer because they're calling through the interpreting agency, and then they have to call me, and it takes time for me to answer and, you know, get on board. So sometimes people will hang up. So, that, you know, there's some challenges sometimes, but at least I have the ability to talk for myself. A lot of deaf people, they can't talk. So I'm lucky to be able to talk. So that yes. way you can have a conversation with people anytime, really. And you're very easy to understand. So that makes a huge difference for sure. I would imagine that nowadays, if I were in your shoes, I would try to do almost all of my conversations this way through Zoom. It would just be so much simpler, I think. Yeah, that's true. I do most of my meetings with Zoom because I like that. I like the face-to-face, too. Yeah. Because sometimes when some people talk to me on the phone, they're like, uh, well, you have an accent. Are you from another country or something? I might know I'm deaf. So I have a little bit of that deaf voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, no, but that it's much, much easier. No, that's fantastic, Zane. So tell us a little bit about real estate investing for Gra- Zane Grazer. 2024, what are you doing? What does the portfolio look like? I think you're starting to get into multifamilies and maybe syndications. So tell us a little bit about your real estate investing business. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've been doing a little bit of everything for the last 11 years. When I first started out, I started out as a wholesaler and I was a struggle doing that. But I managed to do a couple of deals here and there. But then all the money would go back into marketing, so I did not like that. And then finally, I learned more about fixer uppers, and I started doing a couple of fixer uppers, and I raised some capital for that. What through a line of credit, not actual capital from somebody else. So that's mm-hmm. how I got started, so that I can learn how to invest in real estate and make sure what I'm doing is working before I start asking. Uh, my family friend for the capital to invest with me. And then I finally moved up into a small rental property, like one to four units. So that's what I did. And then I remember for my first couple of rentals, um, I raised capital for that through a friend of mine and how I started. Well, basically, I noticed a lot of people were wanting to learn about what I'm doing exactly. And it's hard to have a conversation about that, to be honest. Especially if you only have, like, have like five, ten minutes. Mm-hmm. I never have time for that. So I decided to create a video. I put together a one hour video explaining the whole process using the bird strategy for finding a deal, you know, you know, buying a discount, clean up the property, buying a tenant, and all the financing. And then I'll be financed to a long term loan. And just because I created that video, and a friend of mine, she referred me to her family member who had some money, and he really liked me because I'm uh, vulnerable, I'm real, and I shared my knowledge, my expertise, what I know, and all the numbers, how everything works. So, he, so I, naturally, I built that trust through that process. And then just like that, I started getting a couple of interest from a couple of people who wanted to work with me on my investment property. So that's really how it all started for me. Nice, nice. So what are you doing these days in 2024, Zane? What asset class are you focusing on? Yeah, right now, I'm, I'm focusing more on multifamily going forward. I want to go for a bigger property that I get more income, and I should find it to be a lot more easier to manage with a maintenance cut, unlike single-family property, because you have less income for that and more maintenance. So that's why I started moving into a booty family. But it had been a little bit more of a challenge the last two years because interest rates went up and the property values went up. Mm-hmm. So then a lot of the numbers were not working out for my analysis. So I've had to kind of wait for the right I opportunity. See. What markets are you looking at, Zane? Yeah, right now I'm looking all around the Midwest location in the United States pretty much. Yeah, very good, very good. So when you are talking to potential investors and joint venture partners, obviously you're creating rapport. And what are you showing them 
that is kind of your special sauce that you bring to the table, what is it that you do differently or comes easier to you than perhaps some other real estate investors? That's a good question. Well, I should, I should have an experience from the hands-on experience personally. So that really helps a lot. And, to, you know, wanting to work with people that you want to make a little more money or they want something a little more secure than being in a 401k. Where I know some people want like half of their retirement money when the market goes down. And, you know, so they just want to something safer. And they always like the idea of investing in real estate. And I kind of walks them, walk them through the process and you know, all the numbers and my experience hands on. And I share that as well. So that's really how it all started for me. Yeah. Very good. And what are you finding works best for you these days to connect with new joint venture partners or investors? How are you doing that? Yeah, I've been um, networking with a lot of people online through Facebook investor groups. And I've been attending um, like capital raising meetings that they have that, that's hosted like every week with other groups. And I build relationships from those areas by you know, opening myself up and being honest and being vulnerable about my background and the people naturally gravitate towards me because I'm being more open. If I come in and I'm just, you know, saying, oh, I'm another investor. I'm looking for a partner to, and I need the capital to invest in booty family. And there's so many people like that but by being vulnerable. And I started opening up more about my background by being deaf. I've had health challenges, I've had heart problems, I've had open heart surgery, and I died in my sleep three times. Wow. And I have a pacemaker, and I've competed in three full Ironman races for half since I left my state job. So I'm all about over, overcoming obstacles. So naturally, by sharing that, even though I hate talking about that stuff, mm -hmm. but I know to more people I'm more willing to work with me when I started being more open about my background. So you've turned your disability or disadvantage into an advantage, actually, for opening up and connecting with people. Would yeah, that be fair ironically. to say? <laughs> yeah. No, it, I can see it. I can definitely see it. The other thing that I would say is probably your competitive advantage or as Robert Kiyosaki calls it, your unfair advantage is that perseverance, man. Like your level of overcoming obstacles and sticking with it and just finding a way supersedes everybody else's pretty much. So yeah, that's very, very attractive to people. I can see why that works very well for you, Zane. Very cool. So what are your plans for the next 12 to 24 months, where do you see you and your real estate investing business going? Yeah, right now I'm still on raising capital and networking with people and I see interest rates are starting to drop. I'm looking forward to acquiring a couple of multifamily properties. And also I have my license as a lender. So I've been working with hard money lending and DSCR loan, construction loan for multifamily property. So I build a relationship with that. And I'm also helping some people that want to get into real estate. I kind of hold their hand to, with the whole process from beginning to end. And I can help them out with the financing. So I'm trying to put together an education training courses as well. And I offer the financing as well on top of that. And I'm also writing a book right now. And I'm wow. coming out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I just finished the book and they just went through final review with the editor. So they just had one final um, suggestion, feedback that I'm going to have to go through. And I already have the title. It's called I'm Riches in Real Estate. I actually have that in front of me right now. Okay, not that working. You can't see it? Okay, no, I can't fine. see it. <laughs> so it's, on... <laughs> it's probably green, so the, it's not picking it up. Very yeah. good. Congratulations, Zane. Well, that is wonderful. Well, as we're wrapping up, if people are watching or listening to this episode and they go, wow, I'd really like to connect with Zane Grazer, what's the best way for them to connect with you and to find out more? 
Yeah, absolutely. The best way to get a hold of me, you can go to my website, same as my name. So it'll be zanegracer.com. And you can um, enter your information and you can send me an email as well. And also I have my contact information on there as well. I will allow them to connect and have a conversation anytime. Wonderful. Well, Zane, thanks very much for checking in. It's wonderful to see you again. Congratulations and keep up the good work. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you again for having me on this call. My pleasure. All right, everybody. Take care and we will talk to you on the next episode. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed that episode. And as always, if you want to listen to more daily interview content, make sure you subscribe. And if you're an active real estate investor and you're doing deals and you'd like to get featured on this show, then just head over to DaveInterviewsYou.com. Now at MoneyPartnerFormula.com, we help real estate investors to create a process for predictably getting capital so they can do more deals without relying on hard money lenders or the banks. We do this by building them a private capital marketing system. Now, if you want help turning yourself into a big money capital attraction machine, then book a call with our team to see how we can help. Just visit moneypartnerformula.com to find out more. All right, take care, and we'll see you on the next interview.